and welcome to your program, Shalom Shalom, with your host, Dr. Marisol Pelser, and my beloved husband, Reverend Dexter Pelser. Amen. Shalom. Shalom. In today's program, I'm calling it the blood of the lamb, but it's a, a program that will touch your heart because it will sh show us the extent to which Jesus loved us, loved us so much to die on the cross. You know that he made propitiation for our sins, which means that he became sin for us. And that's really important because he was made to carry our sins, but he was sinless. That's right. He didn't have sin. He was the scapegoat for you and for me. He was made sin for us. He paid the price. Yes. He made propitiation to redeem us from the curse, curse of the law. And Dexter, that shows an amazing love, doesn't it? Yeah. And, and an amazing obedience to the Father, too. So um, before we start the program, I'm going to ask Brother Dexter to um, pray and, and to get started. Amen. Amen. And if you're listening in Arabic... Hopefully you can understand me. Louise will be with us shortly, so just stay with us. Um, Father, I just love you. We're going to be talking about the precious, precious blood yes. of the Lamb yes. of God who taketh away the sin yes. of the world. Of his own free will, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who came and became man yes. and did this for us. Oh, my Lord, we just... We're overwhelmed by this and by this amazing sacrifice that Jesus made and even the pain and suffering of it. So today, Lord, I want us to really understand and know the fullness of what Jesus did when he became sin yes. for us. Yes, Lord. He who knew no sin, he actually became sin yes. for us. And all of the sin of all of us, of all the world, yes, all Father. the horror of that sin was placed on him. I ask, Lord, that our eyes be open to see this truth, our ears be open here, and our hearts be open to receive it, and let it be written on our hearts, Lord. Let us walk in the fear of the Lord, so that even through the fear of the Lord, we will not sin against God, because we will know that precious, amazing price paid by the Lamb of God on the cross. And we will understand that, Father, in Jesus' name. All right. <clears throat> Praise the Lord, Sister Louise is just joining us, and <clears throat> we are going to be turning to 2 Corinthians 5.21. 2 Corinthians 5.21. You know, this scripture is astonishing. <laughs> Because we're talking about the Son of God who has never known sin. He's never sinned and he never will sin. And yet listen to what he did. For it says, for he being the Father made him who knew no sin to be sin for us. That we might become the righteousness of God in Him, in Christ. Jesus became sin for us. And we're see the incredible pain that He suffered as a result of this. Let's go through these scriptures. First, let's really talk about what this good news does for us. First Corinthians. تعال نشوف الأخبار الجيدة بتعمل إيه لينا في كورنثوس الأولى. First Corinthians one thirty. واحد ثلاثين. It says, "But of him you are in Christ Jesus, who became for us wisdom from God." ومنه أنتم بالمسيح يسوع الذي صار لنا حكمة من الله. And righteousness. وبر and sanctification وقداسه, and redemption. وفداء. All this is through Jesus who became sin for us on the cross. 
Our robe of righteousness is only by faith in Jesus Christ. رداء البر يكون فقط من خلال يسوع المسيح. And without our robe of righteousness, we can never appear before the Father. وبدون رداء البر نستطيع أن نظهر أمام الآب. But by the propitiation of our sins by Jesus Christ, لأن مغفرة خطايانا بيسوع المسيح. We now are righteous. أصبحنا أبرار. To our faith in Jesus Christ. بال خلال الإيمان بيسوع المسيح. He has redeemed us Allah fadana from our fallen state and going to hell min halat as-suqut wa in ihna zahibin ila al-jahim and the word says he redeemed us by his blood al-kalima bitaqul in uftadana bidamu he actually purchased us with his blood wa bil waqa ishtarana bidamu so now we can become sons and daughters of the most high god hatta nusbah abna wa banat Allah al-ali praise the lord magdan lirabb all right First Peter two twenty two. في بطرس الأولى اثنين اثنين وعشرين. And by the way, as we're going to see, there's incredible power in the blood. في قوة رائعة في الدم. And even in heaven, the blood is. حتى في السماء الدم. One of the most sacred things in heaven. هو إحدى الأمور السرية في السماء. We are to be reverential towards the blood that Jesus shed towards us. هنكون دائما بنكرم الدم اللي سفكه الرب يسوع من أجلنا. We are not to take it lightly. المفروض لا نستخف بهذا الأمر. And as John said, keep on sinning. وزي ما يوحنا بيقول إن إحنا نستمر في الخطية. Okay, First Peter two twenty two. في بطرس الأولى اثنين اثنين وعشرين. So who, when he Jesus was reviled, بيقول الرب يسوع. Well, I'm going to actually start in verse 22. Uh, actually, I'll go to 21. Sorry, Louise. Let's go to 21. For to this you were called. Because Christ also suffered for us. Leaving us an example that you should follow in his steps. Who committed no sin. Nor was deceit found in his mouth. Who, when he was reviled, did not revile in return. When he suffered, he did not threaten. But committed himself to him who judges righteously. Who himself bore our sins in his own body on the tree. الذي حمل هو نفسه خطايانا في جسده على الخشبة. He became sin for you. أصبح خطية لك. And for me. ولي. So every lust of the flesh. حتى أن كل شهوة جسد. Every act of fornication. Every act of murder. أي فعل خطايا غير أخلاقية خطايا غير أخلاقية أو قتل. Every act of sodomy. It matters not. أو أي أمور ش شذوذ جنسي لا يهم مهما كانت الخطية. They were placed on the Jesus Christ on the cross. كل هذه الخطايا وضعت على رب يسوع على الصليب. Says that we having died to sins. لكي نموت نحن لكي نموت عن الخطايا. Might live for righteousness. فنحيا للبر. That's what Romans six through chapter eight is all about. Read it. وده اللي بيقولوا رمية أصحاح ثمانية وستة كل الآيات عن البر اقروها. By whose stripes you were healed. الذي بجلدته شفيتم. For you were like sheep going astray. لأنكم كنتم خراف ضالة. But now have returned to the shepherd and overseer of your souls. لكنكم رجعتم الآن إلى راعي نفوسكم وأسقفها. We've been redeemed back into the family of God. افتدينا إلى عائلة الله. By that sacrificial offering of the Lamb of God. بذبيحة الحمل بذبيحة الحمل الله. That taketh away the sins of the world. الذي أخذت خطايا العالم. Colossians one thirteen. There is so much to the power of the blood and the cross that Jesus did for us. Says, 
He being Jesus has delivered us from the power of darkness. في كولوسي واحد تلاتاشر بيقول الذي أنقذنا من سلطان الظلمة. And conveyed us into the kingdom of the Son of His love. ونقلنا إلى ملكوت ابن محبته. In whom we have redemption through His blood. الذي لنا فيه الفداء بدمه. The forgiveness of our sins. غفران خطايانا. هللويا. So he had to bear all of our sins on his body on the cross. فهو حمل كل خطايانا في جسده على الصليب. He who knew no sin. الذي لم يعرف خطية. I can't imagine. مش قادر أتخيل. What that is like for a holy God. إزاي الأمر بالنسبة لإله قدوس. Who has never known sin. لم يعرف أي خطية. That all the sin of all the world would be placed on him, every horrible sin. إن كل خطايا العالم كل الفزائع والخطايا الفزيعة جت عليه على الصليب. I can't imagine the pain of that. مش أدرى تخيل مدى الألم اللي كان فيه. So much so that Jesus cries out to the Father. إلا أن في ناس بتقول إن هما إن إن الرب يسوع صرخ للآب. Why hast thou forsaken me? لماذا تركتني? Because when all that sin is placed on the Son, everywhere in the earth then, around there was dark. Probably the Father had to look away. Because without holiness, we cannot appear before God. Can imagine if even for that moment Jesus was knew that the Father had to look away when He's always abided in the Father. إن زي شاف الأب يحجب وجهه عنه وهو كان في حضن الأب طول الوقت. I can't imagine imagine the pain of that. مش أدرى تخيل مدى الألم اللي مر بي. Let's look at this in the most profound scripture, Isaiah 53. تعال نشوف من أعمق الآيات اللي تتكلم عن الموضوع ده أشياء. And again, Lord, I ask you to release the fear of the Lord. بصلي يا رب إنك تطلق خوفك. Through this teaching, so that we will not continue sinning against you, Lord. خوفك فينا بحيث إن إحنا لا نستمر في الخطية ضدك يا رب. Do I want to keep heaping sin on Jesus? هل أنا أستطيع أن أستمر في الخطية ضد الرب يسوع؟ Do I want to keep sinning when I come to the knowledge of Him for salvation? هل أستطيع أن أستمر في الخطية لما أعرف قوة خلاصه؟ When I finally understood this, boy, it changed who I am. لما فهمت ده بالحقيقة ده غيرني. So that I seriously pursued sanctification through Romans 8:13. فعشان كده بدأت أبحث عن القداسة وأسعى وراءها من خلال رومية ثمانية. Which says, if by the Spirit I put to death the deeds and the power of my flesh. إن بيقول بالروح أستطيع أن أميت أعمال الجسد. I will live. فإذا عملت ذلك فسأحيا. Just to say, how can I want my flesh to keep me sinning? إزاي أخلي جسدي خليني أخطأ؟ When I have the gift of the Holy Spirit, when I عندي موهبة الروح القدس, that can allow me to put to death the power of that sin. وال القوة الروح القدس بتخليني ااا أستطيع أن أميت قوة الجسد والخطية. So Romans six fourteen is fulfilled. رومية ستة أربعة عشر بيقول. Sin shall have no dominion over you. أن الخطية لا تسودنا فيما بعد ليس لها سلطة علينا. Because just like Christ was crucified on the cross. زي ما المسيح صلب على الصليب. So am I crucified. أنا أيضا صلبت. My old nature is dies. And I am reborn of water and spirit by the Holy Spirit. A new creation in Christ. And I must always keep my flesh crucified. I pray that we will have reverence for the blood of the Lamb after this teaching. So John said, "We will not keep sinning against him." زي ما يوحنا بيقول أن نستمر أن نفعل الخطية فيما بعد. Isaiah fifty-three four. في أشياء ثلاثة وخمسين وعدد أربعة. And this scripture is referenced in the New Testament to be a reference to what Christ did on the cross. والآيات دي شارت في العهد الجديد اقتبست في العهد الجديد عن ألام الرب يسوع. Listen to what Jesus bore for us. اسمع لما احتمل الرب يسوع عنا. He who knew no sin. هذا الذي لم يعرف خطية. Verse four. Surely he has borne our sicknesses and carried our pains. بيقول لكن أحزننا حملها وأوجعنا تحملها. Yet we esteemed him stricken. ونحن حسبناه مضروب. 
smitten by God and afflicted. مصاب مضروب من الله ومذلول. But he was wounded for our transgressions. وهو مجروح لأجل معصينا. He was crushed for our iniquities. مسحوق لأجل أسامنا. The chastisement for our peace was laid upon him. تأديب سلامنا عليه. And by his stripes we are healed. وبحبوره شفينا. We all are like sheep that have gone astray. كلنا كغنم ضللنا. We have turned everyone to his own way. منا كل واحد إلى طريقه. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. ورب وضع عليه اسم جميعنا. Again, the Father laid on Jesus the sin and horrors of all of our sin, all of our iniquity on him. الله الآب وضع على رب يسوع كل خطايانا وكل أسامنا وضعت عليه في الصليب. He was oppressed and he was afflicted. بيقول. Verse seven. ظلم أما هو فتزل. Yet he opened not his mouth. ولم يفتح فاه. He was led as a lamb to the slaughter. كشاه تساق إلى الذبح. And as a sheep before its shears is silent. وكنعجة صامتة أمام جزي. So he opened not his mouth. فلم يفتح فاه. And it it goes on. وبيكمل كمان عن ألم الرب. I'm just going to read the last verse, verse 12. هارا عدد 12 آخر عدد. Therefore, I will divide him a portion with the great. بيقول ذلك وأقسم له بين الأعزاء. And shall divide the spoil with the strong. ومع العظماء يقسم غنيمة. Because he poured out his soul unto death. من أجل أن سكب نفسه للموت. And he was numbered with the transgressors. وأحصي مع الأسماء. And he bore the sin of many. وحمل خطية كثيرين. وهو حمل خطية كثيرين. And made intercession for the transgressors. وشفع في المزنبين. هاللويا. It's an amazing. Even from the cross. هو في الصليب. Looking at all the Israelites that just turned on him. تأخير كل شعب إسرائيل اللي تحاول ضده. He said, "Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do." رب يسوع قال إخ يا أبي إخ يا بتاء إخ فر لهم لأنهم لا يعلمون ماذا يفعلون. Aren't you glad that he came to save the sinners, you and me? مش مش تشعر بالسرور إنه هو جه ليخلص الخطاة أنا وأنت. And he who knew no sin became sin for you and me. أصبح خطية من أجلي ومن أجلك. It's astonishing to me. الأمر بالنسبة لي مدهش جدا. That kind of love. الحب ده. First John three five. في يوحنا الأولى ثلاثة خمسة. There are many scriptures on this. Praise the Lord. في آيات كثيرة عن كده مجد للرب. And you know that he was manifested to take away. Our sins. وتعلمون إن ذاك أظهر لكي يرفع خطيانا. And in him there is no sin. وليس فيه خطية. There never was and there never will be. عمر ما كان فيه وعمر ما هيكون فيه خطية. He had to carry our sins, but he never sinned. هو حمل خطيانا لكنه لم يفعل خطية أبدا. Romans three twenty five. في روميا ثلاثة خمسة وعشرين. Romans is an amazing book that explains all this to us. الكتاب روميا كتاب مدهش جدا بيشرح لنا كل حاجة عن عن الرب عن الام. Romans three twenty five. في روميا ثلاثة خمسة وعشرين. Actually, I'll um. أبدأ من. I want to start. Wow, I'm going to start at verse twenty one. أبدأ من عدد واحد وعشرين. But now the righteousness of God apart from the law is revealed. وأما الآن فقد ظهر بر بر الله بدون النموس. Being witnessed by the law and the prophets. مشهودا له من النموس والأنبياء. Even the righteousness of God. بر الله. Through faith in Jesus Christ. بالإيمان بيسوع المسيح. Listen to this good news. اسمع الأخبار الجيدة. To all and on all who believe. على كل إلى كل وعلى كل الذين يؤمنون. For there is no difference. لأنه لا فرق. For you and me. بيني وبينك. 
for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. إذا الجميع أخطأوا وأعوزهم مجد الله. Oh, we need this salvation. نحن بنحتاج فعلًا إلى الخلاص. We need our sins to be forgiven. نحن نحتاج إلى غفران خطيئنا. Being justified freely by His grace. متبررين مجانًا بنعمته. Through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. بالفداء الذي بيسوع المسيح. Whom God set forth as a propitiation by His blood. الذي قدمه الله كفارة بالإيمان. Through faith. To demonstrate His righteousness. بدمه لإظهار بره. Because in his forbearance, God had passed over the sins that were previously committed. من أجل الصفحة عن الخطايا الص السلفة التي ارتكبناها بإمهال الله. Marisol used this word propitiation in the introduction. الأخت ماريسول استخدمت كلمة كفارة في بداية الحلقة. Let me read out of the Bible dictionary what it says. Propitiation is. هأرالكم معنى الكلمة من القاموس. Appeasement of the divine wrath and judgment of God. هو جزء من غضب الله ودينته. By the sacrificial offering of the Lamb of God, Jesus Christ. وعبارة عن محو الغضب الله بتقدمة ذبيحة يسوع المسيح. And by His blood shed, which paid the price of those sins. وبسفك دمه الذي جعل مغفرة الخطايا. For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. لأننا أخطأنا جميعاً وأعوزنا مجد الله. The divine wrath and judgment of God is against all of us before we come to Christ. قبل أن نأتي للمسيح كان غضب الله وكل صخته مسكوب علينا بسبب خطايانا. Because of our sin against God, we will all go to hell without Jesus Christ. بسبب خطايانا ضد الله جميعاً سنذهب إلى الجحيم بدون الرب يسوع المسيح. For eternal torment. إلى عذاب أبد. But to our faith in Jesus Christ, من خلال الإيمان أن بيسوع المسيح, the Lamb of God who became sin for us, الذي أصبح خطية لأجلنا. As you and I truly believe, Jesus did go to the cross. نؤمن أن رب يسوع ذهب إلى الصليب. And he was without sin. وكان بلا خطية. And he's the Son of God. وهو ابن الله. And all of our sin was placed on him on the cross. وكل خطايانا وضعت عليه في الصليب. And by his blood shed, we have forgiveness of sin. وبسفك دمه أصبح لنا مغفرة خطايا. You and I believe that. إذا أنا وأنت بنؤمن بهذا. So now we have eternal life in him. يكون لنا حياة أبدية فيه. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, Romans four twenty-five. Please read Romans. It's awesome how it explains all this. من فضلك إقرأ كتاب روميا بيشرح الأمر بطريقة رائعة. Hmm. I'm actually going to start with verse twenty-four, but also for us it shall be imputed to us. هبدأ بأربعة وعشرين بيقول بل من أجلنا نحن أيضا. This is talking about righteousness. بيتكلم عن الأبرار. Righteousness shall be imputed to us who believe in Him. Who raised up Jesus our Lord from the dead. Verse 24. Romans 4, 24. Who was delivered up because of our offenses, our sins. أسلم من أجل خطيانا. And was raised because of our justification. وأقيم من أجل تبريرنا. So by the cross. بالصليب. He paid the price for our sins to be forgiven. دفع ثمن خطيانا ل ل ليغفرها. But. We don't yet have eternal life. ليس لنا الآن حياة أبدية. Not until Jesus Christ was raised from the dead, the firstborn to be raised from the dead. حتى يقوم يسوع المسيح من الأموات، فكان هو أول من قام. Now through our faith in Him. فمن خلال إيماننا به. We are all justified, and we also will be raised from the dead and have eternal life in Christ. وقمنا من الأموات وأصبح لنا في حياة أبدية. So by the cross and the resurrection. بالصليب وبالقيامة. Not only are our sins forgiven, now we're righteous by the blood of the Lamb and our faith in Jesus Christ. And even as Jesus conquered death, 
نعرف أن رب يسوع قهر الموت. And rose again from the dead. وقام من الأموات. So will we. We will never die. كذلك نحن أيضا فنحن لن نموت. Our souls and spirit to be absent from our body will be present with the Lord. أرواحنا وأنفسنا إذا غابت من الجسد ستكون حاضرة عند الرب. We, my soul and spirit are already eternal. إن أرواحنا وأنفسنا الآن أبدية. From dust, my flesh came, and from dust, my flesh will return. جسدي من تراب عمل وإلى التراب يعود. And as the word says, when Jesus comes from his, for his bride, he comes in the cloud for his bride. We will go up to him in the clouds. And we will have eternal bodies from that point on. Glorified bodies that will never decay. This is all through Jesus Christ and the power of the resurrection. Romans 5.19 For as by one man's disobedience many were made sinners Who's that, Marisol? Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve. Yeah. So also by one man's obedience, many will be made righteous. And then verse 21. So that a sin reigned in death, even so, grace might reign through righteousness to eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Eternal life with our loving Father. Eternal life with Jesus Christ, the light of the world. You and I and all of us, eternal life with each other. Where we get to worship the King of King and Lord of Lords. I don't know about you, but I can't wait to, to appear before Jesus and worship Him. And thank Him for everything He has done. I, mean, I want to see Him face to face. I want to just pour out my love into him for saving me and bearing all of my horrible sin on himself and the sin of my mom and my dad and my wife and everyone we love. Thank you, Jesus. Now, what happens, Romans 8, 1, as a result of all this? I love this. The, there is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. Who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the spirit. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. For what the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh. God did by sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh. On account of sin. He condemned sin in the flesh. That the righteous requirement of the law might be fulfilled in us who do not walk according to the flesh. But according to the spirit. And then Romans 8.13. For if you and I live according to the flesh, we will die. But, but if by the helper, the precious Holy Spirit, you put to death the deeds of the flesh, you will live. That's eternal life. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are the sons of God. So we put our faith in Jesus. 
And the Father gives us the precious gift of the Holy Spirit. That by the Spirit we put to death the power of sin in us. As Romans 6 says, we are crucified with Christ on the cross and our flesh is crucified. And then we're filled with the Spirit. In all the days of our life, we make sure the Spirit is leading us. And we keep our flesh crucified. Impossible without the power of God. But all things are possible through the power of God. Sin had dominion in me as a prodigal son in an astonishingly powerful ways. And as God is my witness by the power of the Holy Spirit and by the blood of the Lamb which washed my conscience clean under Hebrews 9 sin no longer has dominion over me. So if I, the worst of sinners, can be freed of the power of sin, so can all of us. And he says his grace is more than sufficient for us. We're talking about part of the Trinity of God being inside of me. Available to give me victory over all sin. Of course the Lord's going to do it in each of us. All right. 1 Peter 3.18 Now we're about to get really serious here, believe it or not. 1 Peter 3.18 For Christ also suffered once for sins. The just for the unjust. That he might bring or redeem us back to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Having put to death in the flesh. But made alive by the Spirit. Now go to Galatians 3.13. I love this. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Having become a curse for us. For it is written. Cursed is everyone who hangs on a tree. I know we've taught about this, but I just want to make sure we understand what the cross did. Not only was, did Jesus become sin for us, he died on a tree which was a curse in the law. So he not only became sin for us, he took all the curses of the law through the cross upon us. Did you know that every disease is listed as a curse of the law? And Jesus redeemed us from the curses of the law. Even poverty is a curse of the law. Go back and read the curses of the law. Again, the word redemption, Marisol. That's a powerful word. It redeemed us. What does that mean? He goes back. He, he made us to what? He made us to what we were intended to be originally. And he restored relationship with God. Because sin makes a wedge. 
جعلتنا أشرار. Between us and the Lord. جعلتنا بعيد عن الرب. So he redeems. He takes back. فهو افتدنا أي رجعنا. And let me make this really clear. خليني أشرح ده أخليه واضح أكثر. The curses and the spirit just fell. The curses of the law. اللعنات النموس. Are very painful in our families. مؤلمة جدا في عائلتنا. Generations past could have sinned against God. الأجيال السابقة لو كانت أخطأ ضد الله. And released the curses of the law. وأطلقت هذه اللعنة لعنة النموس. And those curses can carry through generations. واللعنة دي تقدر تيجي تيجي من جيل لجيل تنتشر. That's why. لذلك. Many times diabetes runs through a family. أمراض عديدة السكري بيبقى ماشي في العيلة. Heart disease runs through a family. أمراض القلب بتبقى ماشية في العيلة. Dementia, Alzheimer's runs through a family. الزهايمر أو فقدان الذاكرة ماشي في العيلة. And many other diseases through the blood of the family line. بتبقى ماشية في خط الدم بتاع العيلة. Did you know that? هل تعرف إني Jesus إن ربي يسوع bore all the curses, paid the price for them, and redeemed us from them? إن رب دفع تمن كل لعنات النموس وافتدنا منها. So you can. Cut them off right now from carrying forward in your family. أن تقطع هذه اللعنات من خط عائلتك. That's amazing. وده مدهش جدا. هللويا. All right, let's go to the serious verse now. Hebrews ten twenty six. في عبرانين عشرة ستة وعشرين. I hope I ask Lord that we're all prepared for this. بصلي إن ربي جهزنا لدا. And Dexter. Yes. And, Dexter. and one of the things that the blood of Jesus does too. من الحاجات اللي بيعملها دم الرب يسوع أيضا. Reconciles. بيصلحنا. Human kind. بيصلح الجنس البشري. Through Christ Jesus. من خلال يسوع المسيح. When we accept him as Lord and Savior. لما نقبله كرب ومخلص شخصي. Because it's like a separation for a wrong or an injury of wrong from sin. لأننا أصبحنا مفصلين. So we're separated from God. So he redeems. لأننا فصلنا على الله بالخطية. فهو افتدى. He appropriates and he atones. افتدى أنا كفر عن خطيئنا. There's so many aspects of what Christ accomplished on the cross. مظاهر كثيرة الأمور اللي رب استمر على الصليب والأمر مدهش جدا. Amen. Amen. حاجات كثيرة عملها على الصليب. All right. Hebrews ten twenty six. في عبرانين عشرة عدد ستة وعشرين. This is really serious. الأمر هنا جدي جدا. And this is not my word, but the word of the Lord. مش كلماتي لكن دي كلمات الرب. For if we sin willfully after we have received the knowledge of the truth, that's about Jesus Christ. فإنه إن أخطأنا باختيارنا بعد ما أخذنا معرفة الحق أي رب يسوع. There no longer remains a sacrifice for sin. لا تبقى بعد زبيحة عن الخطايا. But a certain fearful expectation of judgment and fiery indignation, which will devour the adversaries. بل قبول دينونا مخيف وغيرة نار عتيدة أن تأكل المضادين. Anyone who has rejected Moses's law dies without mercy on the testimony of two or three witnesses. من خلف نموس موسى فعلى شهدين أو ثلاثة شهود يموت بدون رأفة. Of how much worse punishment do you suppose? فكم عقاب أشر تظنون? Will he or she be thought worthy who has trampled the Son of God underfoot? أنه يحسب هو أو هي مستحق من داس دم ابن الله وحسبه. دم العهد. Counted the blood of the covenant by which he was sanctified a common thing. وحسب دم العهد الذي قدس به دنيسا. And insulted the spirit of grace. وأصدر أي أهانة روح النعمة. For we know him who said, "Vengeance is mine; I will repay." فأننا نعرف أن الذي قال لي الانتقام أنا أجازي. يقول الرب. And again, the Lord will judge His people. وأيضاً الرب يدين شعبه. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. مخيف هو الوقوع في يدي الله الحي. Trampled the Son of God underfoot and counted the blood of the covenant as a common thing. من دسا اب من دسا ابن الله بالقدم وحسب دم العهد أمراً عادياً أو إصدار يعني أي دنس يعني حسب عادي. By doing what? 
باننا نعمل ماذا؟ By continuing to willfully sin. إذا استمرينا في الخطية فنحن نفعل هذا ندوس دم ابن الله ونحسبه دنس. So the blood of the lamb who cleansed me and forgave my sins. الذي طهرني وغفر خطايايا. I just think it's a common thing, and I'll just keep sinning. أعتبر إن الدم ده حاجة عادي وأكمل في الخطية. His grace will cover me. I'll just keep sinning willfully. إن نعم مغطياني خلاص أنا هكمل في الخطية وأخت برغبتي. How about if every time we sin, we see ourselves trampling on the blood of the Lamb of God, on the Son of God? هل كل مرة لما لما نيجي نخط نشوف نفسنا وإحنا بندوس ابن الله وبندوس على دمه. Lord, I ask you to write these truths onto our minds and our hearts. يا رب صلي إنك تكتب هذا الحق في قلوبنا وفي عقولنا. We want to be holy as you are holy. نريد أن نكون مقدسين كما أنت قدوس. And we want to truly be crucified in our flesh, Father. و نريد أن نصب الجسد يا رب. So take us back to Romans six. نذهب إلى رومية ستة. And lead us to crucify our flesh in accordance with the Word of God, Lord. أن نقوم بنصب أكسدنا حسب الكلمة يا رب. And we ask you, Holy Spirit, because it says by the Spirit we put to death the deeds of the flesh. So we surrender completely for you, Holy Spirit, to take away the power of that sin which we break covenant with in the name of Jesus. And free me from that power. And instead fill me with the fruit of the Spirit. And let that lead me all the days of my life, only you, Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. And of the seven spirits of God, including the spirit of fear of the Lord, I need that fear of the Lord. So as the word says, I will not keep on sinning. So I ask you, fill me, Holy Spirit, also with the fear of the Lord. And a reverential honor of the blood of the Lamb. Every precious drop of the blood of the Lamb that was shed. So that I will not trample on you and count your blood as time in Jesus ever again. And forgive me of that, Father. In the precious name of Jesus. Wow. Hebrews 7.25 will explain why we just read is true. Read, stay with me. Because I was never the same after I read these scriptures. Hebrews 7.25. It says, Therefore, he also is able to save to the uttermost those who come to God through him. Since he always lives to make intercession for them. For such a high priest was fitting for us. Who is holy, قدوس, harmless, بلا شر, undefiled, بلا دنس, separate from all sinners, قد انفصل عن الخطاء, and has become higher than the heavens. وصار أعلى من السماوات. Who does not need daily as those high priests, الذي ليس له اضطرار كل يوم مثل رؤساء الكهنة, to offer up sacrifices, أن يقدم ذبائح, first for his own sins and then for the people. أولا عن خطايا نفسه ثم عن خطايا الشعب. Listen to this. اسمع إلى هذا. For this he did once for all when he offered up himself. لأنه فعل هذا مرة واحدة إذا قدم نفسه. That's why it says there's if we willfully keep on sinning. الكتاب يقول لو استمرينا في الخطية برغبتنا الشخصية. Jesus Christ died once on the cross for us. الرب يسوع مات مرة واحدة على الصليب من أجلنا. What are we going to try to put him to death again when we go back to our sins? إيه معنى إن إحنا نستمر في الخطية هل معناها إن إحنا عايزينه يموت تاني من أجلنا؟ No. لا. That's why we must be sanctified and surrendered to the sanctifying work of the Holy Spirit immediately upon salvation. يجب أن نكون مقدسين وأن نغض على عمل التقديس بعد ما نعرف الرب يسوع مباشرة ونؤمن بما فعله على الصليب. Let's read Hebrews six four. عبرانين ستة عدد أربعة. I'm sorry, but I want the fear of the Lord in all of us. أنا أريد أن خوف الله يكون فينا جميعا. 
For it is impossible for those who were once enlightened and have tasted the heavenly gift. بيقول أن الذين استنيروا مرة وذاقوا الموهبة السماوية. And have become partakers of the Holy Spirit. وصاروا شركاء الروح القدس. And have tasted the good word of God and the powers of the age to come. وذاقوا كلمة الله الصالحة وقوات الظهر الآتي. If they fall away. وسقطوا. Sounds like willfully sinning, doesn't it? معناها أن يرتكب الخطية بإرادته مش كده. To renew them again to repentance. لا يمكن تجديدهم أيضا للتوبة. Since they crucify again for themselves the Son of God. إذ هما يصلبون لأنفسهم ابن الله ثانية. And put him to open shame. ويشهرونه أو يضعونه للخجل. When I understand what Jesus Christ did for me on the cross, the incredible price he paid, did you know that the angels came? This is from a vision of one of our brothers that the Lord showed him. And I believe this. Because it talks about in Hebrews that the they brought the blood before the Father to for the propitiation of our sins. لأنه بيتكلم عن إزاي دم الرب يسوع صعد قدام الآب لغفران خطيانا. That a myriad of angels came and collected every drop of Jesus's blood from the cross. إن في ملائكة جت وشالت الدم اللي كان على الصليب. And it is sacred, and it always was sacred, and was brought up before the Father. لأن الدم ده كان مقدس ودائما مقدس وأخذ هذا الدم مصعدة به إلى الآب. And when the blood of the Lamb is even proclaimed, they all bow before Jesus. وكل ال الملائكة كلها كانت بتسجد أمام الرب يسوع. That blood. هذا الدم. Washed away all of my sins. غسل عني كل خطاياي. So do I want to keep on sinning? هل أريد وأرغب في أن أستمر في الخطية؟ Seriously, do you or I want to keep putting Jesus to death as if we could again on the cross? هل ب ب بطريقة جدة هل أنا أو أنت نريد أن ابن الله يموت مرة أخرى أو يصل مرة أخرى بسبب خطايانا? And count it that precious blood as a common thing. ونعتبر دم الحمل نستهين به ونعتبره عادي. May it never be, Father. Yes. أصلي أن لا يحدث هذا يا أبي. Boy, do we repent, Father. أبانا بنتوب وبنتوب عن هذا الأمر وعن خطيئة. Most holy God, we repent. أمام الله القدس نحن نتوب. May the blood of the Lamb. اجعل دم الحمل. Be so reverentially precious to me. يكون مقدس ومقرم في عينيا. That you always bring it even to recollection, Holy Spirit. حتى يا روح الله دائما. So that I may not continue sinning willfully against Almighty God. يكون هذا فيها فلا أخت أمام الله مرة أخرى. Remind me always of the preciousness and holiness of this blood. ذكرني دائما بقداسة بالقداسة وبالدم الذي سفك عني فلا أخت. Let me never treat it as a common thing and keep on sinning. دعني ألا أعمل الدم بأنه عادي وأستمر في الخطية. I surrender completely. أخذ على كتمام. Sanctify me through and through. قدسني تماما. Refine me. يا رب نقيني. Remold and reshape me as the potter, and I am the clay. يا رب شكلني كما يشكل الفخار الطين. Give me a new, clean heart and a pure heart of obedience. قلبا نقيا طاهرا وأعطيني طاعة. And a hunger for your word, so I always renew, renew my mind in Christ. حتى أجدد ذهني في يسوع المسيح. In the name of Jesus. في اسم رب يسوع. What's the consequence if we ignore this? Romans 1.18 For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men. Who suppress the truth and unrighteousness? الذين يحجزون الحق بالاسم. For because what may be known of God is manifest in them. إذ معرفة الله ظاهرة فيهم. 
For God has shown it to them. For since the creation of the world, his invisible attributes are clearly seen. Being understood by the things that are made, his creation. Even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Because although they knew God, they did not glorify him as God. Nor were they thankful. But became futile in their thoughts. And their foolish hearts were darkened. One more, John 3. Right after God so loved the world is the scripture that says what happens to those who continue sinning and reject Christ. John 3.19 And this is the condemnation that the light being Jesus has come into the world and men love darkness rather than the light because their deeds were evil. For everyone practicing evil hates the light and does not come to the light lest his deeds should be exposed. But he who does the truth comes to the light that his deeds may be clearly seen that they may be done that they have been done in God. Okay, one more scripture and then we're going to pray. Now we all continue sinning. We know that from first chapter first chapter of John, 1 John. Listen to 1 John 1 7. This is the good news. Even if you sin after accepting Jesus Christ, there is an answer. Listen to this. First John 1 7. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus Christ's son cleanses us from all sin. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. That's why I always say we need to continue confessing and repenting as convicted by the Holy Spirit all the days of our life. Because listen to verse 9, the good news. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make Him a liar and His word is not in us. Why we must always walk in the light and in the truth with him. Never hide our sin from him. So Father, let's pray. Jesus, you who knew no sin became sin for us. So starting today, I give my life afresh and anew to you, Lord. As my Lord and Savior. I put all my faith now in the cross. And that you shed your blood for the remission of my sins. I ask you to forgive all of my sins, Almighty God. And fill me with the Holy Spirit. Sanctify me. And guard and keep me in this salvation all the days of my life. I choose to surrender my life to be your child. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 What a blessing. So Jesus did it all for us. Just abide in him. And take it seriously. Take what it is. seriously.
Don't play around with your salvation. لا نستهين أو نلعب بخلاصنا. This is a matter of life and death. الأمر هو مسألة حياة أو موت. This has been your program. كان هذا برنامجكم. Shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom. With your host, Mahmoud Ifdkoum, Dr. Marisol Belser, Dr. Marisol Belser, Reverend Dexter Belser, and our Dexter Belser, Arabic voice, Louise. وصلنا العربي لويس. Shalom. Salamun lakum. Shalom.